Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Tosh and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that I upload this year. If you're a returning subscriber, you should already know. I would die for you. I would take a bullet if you need me to. Today's video is going to be an every plate video. Now, I have never tried it, but my coworker, she did it and she gave me a link and within that link, like basically I got six free meals and I only paid shipping, why wouldn't I try that, you know? So you guys are gonna cook with me for a week and since we all know that I'm like kind of learning how to cook or just trying to learn to be better at cooking, I feel like this would be a great video to see if it's good for beginners or people that don't know how to cook, if it's, you know, as fast as they say and stuff like that. So America's best value meal kit. My dog is right here. He thinks this is for him. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It comes with these cards. Welcome to the Every Plate family. Honey garlic chicken, that sounds fire. And then the instructions are also on the back. So this is gonna be great to keep. Then we have caramelized zucchini linguine. Creamy peppercorn chicken. Monty Jack Burgers with potato wedges. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Southwest pork flautas. And then pork sausage and roasted pepper penne pasta. Not a huge fan of pork, but I was like, let me just get what they offer or what they recommend and see how good these meals are, how easy they are to make. So let's go ahead and empty this box out. Everything is separated into like perfect portions. Do a dollop of Daisy. Oh my God, wait, I'm gonna actually have to make the patties. This video is gonna be something else. Well, I'll see you guys later when I make whatever I'm gonna make. I'm probably gonna do some, one of the pastas today because my teeth are still hurting. So like, I cannot be biting into a burger. Absolutely cannot eat those because they look a little crunchy. So here I'm just chopping up some bell peppers, well just one bell pepper, slicing and dicing, <laughs> just slicing actually. And then I literally have never really used garlic before unless it's minced garlic from a jar. So I think I put too much, but it ended up working out and tasting really good. One thing I will say about this dish that I didn't say when I'm like rating it is that I was able to eat both portions in one sitting. So I guess you could say the single portion isn't that filling for this one, but it was still really good and I very much enjoyed it, especially because I usually don't like pork. But caramelizing some onions, adding the pork, and then some tomato paste, water, and marinara sauce. some cream cheese, and then Parmesan. Let's take those bad boys out. I've also never thought to like mash up garlic like this. This is so smart and I'm, I'm gonna make this again. Probably not with pork because it's not my meat of choice, but I'm definitely gonna make this again. Okay, day one of every plate. Let's test it out and see what it tastes like. <clears throat> so this is the pasta that I made. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. My teeth kind of hurt, so that's not enjoyable, but this tastes really good. I really like this. I think it tastes really good. I would totally make this 
I would say day one is a success. It only took me like 30, 35 minutes to make. It says prep was 10 minutes, but it definitely took me a lot longer. Peeling the garlic was a little bit much for me. I'm not good with that stuff, but got it done. And good thing I did it correctly because I needed the garlic for this. I was literally about to just throw it in the oven. <laughs> but yeah. I'm pretty satisfied with this. This is actually my second day cooking, but I didn't do the first day on camera for you guys. But both days have been chef's kiss. They've been pretty good, especially for like the price. Can't complain. Day two of this every plate box. And sorry if I sound sick, I'm not sick. I just have really bad allergies or something. My nose is so stuffed. So I'm gonna make the burgers tonight because I really like burgers. I'm gonna sound like such a child, but I've never like really like touched raw meat like that. So I'm a little nervous. I did just cut my nails off and have nothing on. So it'll be easier to clean after, which I'm very thankful for. <laughs> yeah, and also if you're wondering why I have braces now, click the link in the description after this video and watch, you know, the video on why I have braces now. First things first, um, you have to chop up the onions. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And my other cutting board is dirty. So I'm gonna use this one. I think this is a paring knife. All right, enough of that. I miss my nails. They protect me from danger. Oh my God, my hip. Okay, so I'm back. I had to peel my garlic. I'm not very good at peeling garlic, so it took me a minute. And then it said salt and pepper. Oh my gosh. Separate everything, yeah? A drizzle. Uh, oh. I'm gonna have to move the, oh. I think that was a lot of oil. Stir it around. These go in. Oh, I forgot to put a little bit of sugar. Okay, so here's the meat. I feel like I should put it into a bowl and season it like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh God. You can tell I've never touched meat like this before. <laughs> You're gonna learn today, girl. Is that a lot of pepper? Or is it? I don't want to touch it. Oh my God, I don't like this. Gotta do it so that I can be wifey one day and please my man and my children. I'm disgusted. Can I give you my trash? Yeah. Sorry. I just like her. You're good. I really hate this. I don't think I want to make my onions that dark. I mean, they're caramelized, but theirs, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna do another uh, like 12 minutes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I have to cut my burgers now into fours because of braces, but my camera died. And by camera, I mean fun. <laughs> but it died and I had to finish cooking so I could eat. Um, the burger tastes fire. The fries are fire. Everything is so delicious. I'm so happy to be eating a burger right now. I have food in my teeth right now. But I'm gonna rate this one. I honestly, 
you guys, if you know me, you know that a burger and fries is my favorite food. So it's gonna get a nine. I feel like I've definitely had better burgers, but yeah, no, I really am satisfied with it. It wasn't too difficult. It wasn't hard at all actually to make. The other meals were, I guess, more difficult than this one. I mean, it's just a burger, so it's pretty simple. I think that the timing was pretty accurate except for the prep because I am new to cooking and I don't know how to peel garlic, so it takes me a long time. But yeah, definitely nine out of 10 for me on a scale of one to 10 of how hard it was to cook. Maybe like a five, cause it was average. Like, I don't know. I don't, it wasn't hard at all. It's a burger. I make burgers all the time. I'm gonna go finish this now and then shower and get ready for bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for whatever I decide to make. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll figure that out then. <laughs> So this day I really just did not feel like being on camera like at all but I knew that I had to cook this meal you guys this one is 10 10 10 out of 10 delicious amazing so good I am obsessed and it was so easy literally just dice some tomatoes dice some onions Usually the only kind of pork that I eat is bacon, but this was so good. Like I said, I'll probably substitute a different type of meat in the future. Just sprinkle some seasoning on there. I don't know exactly what it is, but I put a little text on the screen so you can see. That's flour. And then some chicken stock concentrate. And then literally meat and cheese, roll it up. Keep going until you have your desired amount. Throw it into the oven. Okay, so this is my first time ever like using a shallot. I need a bigger knife, but like I said, I don't want to wash it. You know, this is a tiny knife. <sighs> so much fuck. No. We are not going to vest it. It says finely chopped leaves. Pasta. You need to add a drop of oil to those pasta. Oops. I just put the parsley in there too. My be. I think this may need a tad bit more oil as well. And salt. So we can add some red flakes.
So yeah, I put all the parsley in on accident. I may have completely ruined this dish. I have no idea. Can you cook parsley? I, I feel stupid. I don't really care how this cooking portion turns out because I'm honestly starving and I just want to get this over with. I'm so hungry and I'm like ruining this. I skipped some of the directions because I'm a little dumb dumb. Adding some cream cheese. Like all I've done so far for this dish is mess up. So honestly, if it tastes like crap, I'm gonna mostly blame myself because I messed up. seasoning. Okay. Oh my god. See, I'm just like making a mess with this dish. Like I was supposed to squeeze all of the liquid out of the zucchini. Did not do that. Like this looks nothing like their picture. I hope this tastes good. And this is probably supposed to be like a vegetarian dish. No, no, maybe. I feel like that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I need to do my nails, but Yum. Okay, let's do a quick taste test. I'm a little nervous because it's like zucchini is the sauce. So I feel like it's not going to have a lot of flavor, but it probably is. And I'm just going to be um, pleasantly surprised. I don't want a big bite. It's not bad. I think I personally prefer the other pasta that we had earlier in the week. That one was delicious. This one is like kind of bland. I can't even like chew right. I don't enjoy eating on camera. I'm gonna rate it like a 5 out of 10 for like difficulty and then as far as taste goes this is probably gonna be the worst one. I would probably never choose this again. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last meal. It is a chicken meal. Chicken every day. <laughs> um, I'm actually excited for that one. It's like a honey garlic chicken with like zucchini. I have never had sweet potato mashed potatoes, but I love sweet potato french fries. So we'll see how it goes. I'll see you then. It's the finale. <laughs> the last thing that we're making is this honey garlic chicken. Let's get to it. Everybody do it. Mm, actually, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 425. Wash and dry produce. All right, let's do that. Everything is so dirty right now. I have never used like a sweet potato like this in my life. So let's hope I don't mess this up too. Let's dice up the zucchini. Cut off the ends. Do you think I can cut through this whole thing? Let's find out, yeah. Okay, so in their picture, they just put it directly on the pan. I'm like not about that. I'm going to put some foil down first because one, it's just easier to clean and two, I don't want stuff getting stuck to my pan. Even when I grease it, that seems to happen. I don't know, that higher altitude cooking, is that really making a difference? Zucchini. Okay, so I'm gonna peel the sweet potatoes. I hate peeling potatoes. I'm like, so, do you see what I mean? I'm like so bad at it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, big knife. Oh my god. garlic. All this finely chopping. Oliver, you definitely cannot have any of this. You know, I'm not trying to have you die. This is definitely going to take up the whole thing. I'm going to use the other one for the chicken. I'm going to be making a mess. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna mix that around in the oil because I'm not gonna touch it. So while that stuff's going, I'm gonna clean up my kitchen a little bit. I'll be right back. Heat, oops, heat a bit of olive oil. There was a hair in there, I had to take it out. <laughs> like a dog hair or something. Um, okay, so soy sauce and chicken concentrate. Honey, which I need both hands for this. Okay, all three are in there. Now it says whisk. I'm just using the knife because it's right here. So it says whisk it until it's combined. Okay, so I added some brown sugar and two tablespoons of water and I'm mixing it. Okay, all the oil went to one little spot. Okay, let me get my gimbal because this is too hard. tablespoons of butter. So I am officially done cooking and I know the lighting is not ideal facing this way, but I want to sit down and eat my food. This is what it looks like. I put the other half of it into a like container for tomorrow. I, oh, I didn't even grab a fork or a knife. How am I gonna eat this? Hello? This is super healthy. I hope it's good. I've never had sweet potato mashed potatoes. Gonna use a steak knife for the chicken. Okay, so let's taste the sweet potatoes first. Honestly, I like them. That's so good, oh my God. Like, I didn't even have to cut it. Oh. Mm -hmm. This one's really good. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> I'm so surprised, you guys. This is amazing i'm probably gonna make this at least once a week like i love chicken i have to have protein this is healthy all around is that i'm gonna use ranch with the zucchini because i just can't eat vegetables by themselves yet <laughs> i know i'm supposed to be an adult right but i just can't this was honestly really exciting i'm definitely gonna keep using every plate at least every once in a while and i definitely do want to try the other boxes there is a smoothie box as well that I really wanna try. So let me know down below if there's any of these boxes specifically that you would like for me to try and test out for you as a beginner cook. <laughs> and I'm gonna put my link down below. It's not an affiliate link. However, if you wanna you know, help me get free food and get yourself a free box from every plate, click the link down below so we can both win. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday for whatever apartment tour I decide to upload. I'll see you then. I always say Tuesday and then it ends up being like Thursday or Friday. So you know what? I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Bye.